Hello and welcome to a show unlike any other. Your talk, your show. I'm Matt Dingle and this is the Friday Happy Hour Show. On this episode, it's convention time once again, so we talk about all the conventions we've been to. Well, my chat does, but I've never been to a convention. And we have a troll on our show, because everybody has a troll. Deal with it. It's the Friday Happy Hour Show and it starts right now. Hello there, welcome to the Friday Happy Hour Show. It is Friday, August 2nd, 2019. Um, before I begin here, I want to apologize for not doing a show last week. Uh, some things got in the way from doing a show last week. I was doing other things, helping around the house, you know, I really didn't have a time. And plus, I really wasn't in the mood to do a show last week anyway. But, back here again. Um, Oh, everybody had a nice week. Two weeks, actually. Uh, we're back up and doing the show once again. Um, I do want to start off the show by uh, talking about one of the big stories this week. Uh, you folks know the streamer Ninja, right? Big Fortnite streamer and whatnot. Recently, he announced he is no longer going to be doing Twitch streams. He is going to be moving to Mixer. And I think that's huge, uh, considering he is probably the biggest Twitch streamer of all time. You know, he's especially popular because, you know, the big tournaments he's been doing, the whole esports thing over the last, I don't know how long now, but it's an interesting move. I mean, I think he said he's been wanting to do it for quite some time now, but it's a big move for Twitch. So, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens with him. Uh, of course, Twitch n wished Ninja nothing but the best, obviously, because that's how I roll. But yeah, um, what else do I want to talk about? Um, we were, I was just, I was just mentioning, um, Ninja. Uh, big uh, Fortnite streamer now he move he's moving from Twitch to Mixer for those of you just uh, joining us yep it's a uh, it's an interesting decision considering he was he's one of Twitch's biggest streamers but you know sometimes you just gotta move on you know Yeah, I know, I know like everybody's talking about that. I haven't watched any of Big John's streams lately, but, you know, I need to. But I think everybody's talking about it, you know, because it's so big for Twitch. You know, he... Ninja's been streaming for a few years. I don't know how, I don't know how long he's been streaming. At least two years, at least. But... I don't know. There we go. So, um... Yeah. Just wanted to start off with that. Um, hopefully you folks are doing fine. <laughs> you liar. You liar, you. <laughs> now, you... All of us got a long way to go. A very, very long way to go. Until any of us reach as big as... Um, Ninja. There's no way... Any of us have been on Twitch. Yeah, but see, see, he's been, Ninja's been doing this for years, though. He's been doing this for years. He's been playing Fortnite for a number of years. Probably, I think, ever since it first came out. I, I don't know. I don't play Fortnite, so I wouldn't know. Anyway, yeah, he's been streaming for a few years now. Exactly, you're new. Yeah, you just gotta climb your way to the top. I mean, that's that's a that's a big goal you got, but yeah, good luck, good luck with that. Um, just just straight up good luck. Anyway, yeah, for those who are new to the show, this is the Friday at the hour show, and uh, this is my new show, a live interactive show where, well, we just talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Um, I didn't write down any topics, but I do have a couple in mind. Um, one, for example, um, I think I was talking about this with some friends yesterday. Um, believe it or not, somebody, I think it was in Oregon, somebody stole cookies from a convenience store. Let's start, why do I look so comfy? Why do I look so comfy? Because I can. I do look comfy. Yes, this is a little robe I have. I look, I do look comfy. I, I, I do. I, I do look very comfy. And, uh, I just, I just, I kind of want to give a comfy atmosphere. Except for this, back of this couch, which has been bothering me for a while. But, mm, I, I do look comfy. I appreciate, I appreciate that, though. I, I do look comfy. Mm. Anyway, back to where I was. Uh, there was a guy in, uh, I have, I have, I have plenty of hoodies. This is, this is not a hoodie, though. This is a robe. Yes, I know, it's a robe. I do have plenty of hoodies, but they're over there and upstairs in my bedroom because, let's face it, nobody needs it at the end, of, at the beginning of August. Not yet. Nobody needs, uh, nobody needs hoodies yet. Okay, maybe except if you're on the other side of the world, but that's a whole different story. Anyway, back to uh, what I was seeing here. Uh, there was a man who actually stole cookies at a convenience store in Oregon. I kid you not, this is actually true. Um, and the, the crazy thing is, he was actually wearing a Cookie Monster shirt. Like, a, a yes, a Cookie Monster shirt. It's true. I when I when I read it, it, it was just I was like, what? And then and then the last line of the uh, article that kind of broke me. I forget what it was. I'm trying to recall what it was. Yes, Cookie Monster stealing cookies. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Basically, that's how it goes. Cookie Monster stealing cookies. Mm. Yep, that's basically how it goes. Uh, I think the last line in the article went, this, uh, I'm trying to remember offhand, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it was, this article was brought to you by the letters C, T, N, the number 3, as in Citation of Theft 3, I think it was, something, something like that, but, yeah, creativity, folks, creativity. Speaking of Sesame Street, they're summer road trip is finishing up in Los Angeles and um, correct me if I'm wrong here but I do believe um, I forget the name of it but one of the characters from I think it's Plaza Sesamo someone legal jargon with humor attached yes basically um, I think um, I forget the name of the character but I think it's a character from uh, one of the Spanish versions of Sesame Street uh, it's called Plaza Sesamo, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, has been in Los Angeles this week, so, uh, yeah, that's nice. But yeah, uh, they're finishing up their 10-week, shall we say, national tour. I'm putting that in quotation marks because it's not like Sesame Street Live. How long do I think this episode's gonna be? We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I don't, I don't really have a time. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well then, first thing you say is you had to get that reduction. Very well done, you. Welcome to the show. Well, I'm not even going to comment on that, but <laughs> we're starting off with this. Very well. Very well. Welcome aboard. Glad you could join us. Whew. Uh, I, I can't believe we're starting out like this. Um, anyway. Those are the big two I really wanted to talk about, really, but, um... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Um, do this up to a minute. Yeah, no. No, no, no. I'm, I am... Well, I could do, like, a... Ch uh, well, no, not a charity episode, but... Because, like, I don't have donations for Twitch yet. But once I do, then maybe. Maybe do, like, a charity episode for... I don't know. Give kids the world, maybe. That's that's an idea. That's an idea. Do do it probably around Christmas, maybe. I don't know. 
We're gonna need some mod. I do! I do need a mod. I do. You know, Jim, somebody, somebody asked me that last week. Somebody asked me that last week. No, I'm not. I'm not. I will tell you right now. I am straight. I'm not gay. Somebody asked me that last week. I forget who. I forget who. Somebody asked me that same exact question last week. I, I don't remember who off the top of my head last week, but somebody did. You're not the only one who's asked me. Probably? Probably? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Anyway. Um... Mm. Good for you. Congratulations. That is not our phone? Thank you, Airfly. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. We're really gonna need to set up mods at some point. I I could I could have sworn I did, but I think the mod who usually is here isn't here. Wait. So, yeah. Uh, this is going wonderful. I. I don't know. I don't, I have no words. Honestly, I have, I honestly have no words. Well, this show's gone downhill. That no. Um. I. I've completely lost track at this point. I guess I know. I think that was a voice crack. Probably not. But, um, I do want to show you something. Oh, thank you. Thank you for calling me keep. Well, that's weird, but oh well. Um, I do want to show off one thing, though. Um, we all know we have, um, home movies, right? I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna show the entire thing, but this is the oldest one I have here. First of all, who remembers VHS tapes? I'll, I'll get I'll get to that uh, airplay. Um, this is a um, this is a uh, VHS tape. It's uh, one of the tapes we went from. Um, well, not me, but I think it was some family members that went to Walt Disney World in. Uh, if you can see here, it's dated June of 1988, and. Um, do or not do it, so. Yeah, uh, believe it or not, I have, uh, I think, the ending of a Santa Barbara episode from, like, January of 1993. Not the last episode, because the show ended in January of 1993. Shut up, man. Now you're really pissing me off. Anyway, um, can I, hold on. Okay. Use my phone, but anyway, no. Um, believe it or not, um, no, I'm not gonna mention that. Anyway, you are weird, man. You are weird. You're never gonna show again. Thank you. Um, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop real quick and uh, see what the heck's going. On. I'm, a, I'm gonna stop real quick and then come back. We'll be back. quickly I think we're good now I, th I think we're good uh, yeah uh, I apologize for that uh, that was not expected I'll tell you that now anyway where was I oh yes um, this is a tape here this is the oldest home movie that I have it is dated June 1988 and uh, believe it or not this actually has the um the original macy thanksgiving day parade during its original run at disney disney world let's be more specific disney world I believe it ran until 1991 yeah it did uh of course disneyland uh that was until 1996 uh did anybody hear that it's gonna be coming back for a limited time at disneyland uh the main street electrical parade I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Of course, not when we go to Disneyland anytime soon. But I heard Disneyland is bringing back the Main Street Electrical Parade for a limited run. I think that's what they've been doing for quite some time. Now the big question is, 
do you folks believe that it, it say at least somebody's heard of it it's great um do you folks believe it should be a permanent thing like should it be brought back permanently or i mean of course it would have to be updated with the times you know have like led and whatnot um use like uh i think i think they would have probably to use like led now you know to keep up with the times but i wouldn't mind it being brought back i wouldn't mind i mean that'd be great of course i saw of course i saw the main street electrical parade when i was at disney world eight years ago uh, this was during its 2000 i think it was brought back in 2009 i forget when it was uh taken out i think it was 2016 no, it's fine. I was I was just continuing the uh, discussion from earlier uh, about the uh, home movie I have and uh, how the uh, Main Street Electrical Parade is uh, coming back for a limited run at Disneyland out in California. Yep, <laughs> she's happy. She's happy about that. Um. For those who don't know here, um, I think this is the first time she's been on the sh in our chat in the show. Uh, everybody, this is Airfly. She's in the chat here, and now she's one of our mods. Congratulations to you. Uh, she's she's also a streamer. Uh, obviously, she streams... Uh, that's obvious. I'm trying to think here. Um, she does games. Um... She did do, uh, I think, co-op games at one point, like, uh, mostly Clue, but now she's done other games. That's true. She also mods a lot, too, for other streamers, not just me. Of course not. But she's got experience with modding and uh, whatnot, so uh, check her out. Uh, check her out when she, uh, when she goes on live. She goes live a lot later, though. Sometimes. But, um, yeah. What else was I going to talk about? Um, conventions. Yes, conventions. That's a, another topic I want to talk about here. I've been doing a lot of searching. Uh, I've been doing a lot of searching on the internet about uh, upcoming conventions. Uh, not necessarily in Baltimore, but like... Uh, I was just about to answer that. What conventions are next for me? I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, maybe Animor coming up in January. That, that's that's a good one coming up. Um, there's also one in Pennsylvania, which is about 90 minutes from our studio here, um, called uh, Amazicon. It's in... Um, I forget what the city is. It's in November. I mean, yes, it's, uh, yes, yes, dude, that's obvious, right here, I mean, I know it's Ravens, but still, yes, um, but, um, gosh, now I lost a train of thought, I remember now, it's called Amazicon, and, um, I told, I told one of my other friends this, Erica, you know, you know who I'm talking about, um, one of the guests that's gonna be there is, uh, at Amazicon is Wesley Yor. Uh, for those who don't know, he was a part of the TV series from the 1970s called Land of the Lost. And he was also the original host of the 1980s Nickelodeon game show, Finders Keepers. And I made a deal with him. Uh, not, not Wesley, but a friend of mine. Um, Eric, like, again, uh, Airfly knows who I'm talking about. Um, but... Mm, yeah. I did. I made a deal with uh, a friend that both myself and Erica know. I believe he's also a mod on the channel as well. If I do decide to go up to... Uh... You met Bot... Oh my god. Girl, now I'm even more jealous of you. No, 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 David, no, 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 no. Charles Martinet is the voice of Barney. Bob West is the original voice of Barney from 1988 to 2000. 
That's that's my childhood Barney. I'm jealous of you even more. See, let me let me explain something here. Last year when she went to uh, Rally Supercon, which is now GalaxyCon Rally, um, she uh, was a part. Well, not necessarily a part. She was in a panel where uh, Steve Whitmer, the former performer of uh, Hold On, let me get it, let me get it. Ah, hold on, of Wembley Fraggle, right here. Galaxy Super. Supercon, Galaxy, whatever, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, so for, for some reason they changed their name. I don't know why. I'm keeping it really Supercon. I'm, I'm just keeping it Supercon because, you know, that's what it was last year. I'm kind of getting used to that. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, she was at a panel or, uh, with a Steve Whitmire. Oh, you did meet Charles Martinet last year. I don't think you told me that. I, I, know, I knew you were talking about uh, Steve Whitmire last year, but not... Um, Charles Martinet, you didn't tell me you were, uh, you didn't tell me you met Bob West. Now I'm even more jealous of you. You'll, you'll have to, sh you'll have to show me the, uh, if you took a picture with him, um, do show it in, the ch in, uh, in our, uh, chat while we were on. The, the, the name got bought, oh, oh, that's what it was. Then, uh, uh, oh, it got bought out. Okay. I was, I was, I was wondering, like, wait, it was just probably super, it was just super calm last year. Now it's just, okay, I, I get it now. Okay, thank you, thank you for clarifying that. Um, but yes, um, you don't have, oh, come on, oh, that's, that's, that's a shame. But, hey, you got, you got to meet him, that's awesome. That is awesome that you got to meet him. Now I'm even more jealous of you. <laughs> I am. Didn't want to pay forty dollars. Look, that's that's understandable. Did you at least get an autograph, though? Let's. Yes, thank you for those. Did you at least get an autograph? Let's go there. If you didn't get a picture, did you at least get an autograph? At at least. Just. It. I don't. I don't mind if you didn't get a picture. That. That's fine. I mean, that's that's kind of what I don't understand. These people are. Oh, that that really. Really? That was also forty dollars. Jeez, they're so expensive at these comic cons. That's that's one of the that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't gone to any uh, conventions because because these are so expensive. Um, I think I mentioned this. Um, I don't know if it was the last show. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I almost went to. Um, have I been to VidCon? No, I have not been to VidCon. I don't think I've ever been to any uh, convention. Um, I have been to Orioles Fan Fest out here, but that technically doesn't count. No, I have not been to any convention. Um, I am pl making plans to go out to conventions, though. I'm, I'm making plans. Either, either Animore out here in January, uh, AmazeCon in Pennsylvania in uh, I believe it's November November oh yeah I was I was going back to an animal con no not anymore Amazicon the problem I have with uh, Amazicon is that's the same weekend as my dad's birthday so I don't know if we're gonna do family birthday that weekend or not I don't know I don't I really don't know we'll, we'll have to figure it out if not uh, yeah I know yikes I know I know it's like, I really, I really want to, I really want to, I, I do, I really want to start traveling again. You know, I haven't done very much traveling this year, and I really want to. Um, the only, like, place I've been out of town is Virginia, and that's really it. But, I haven't been, like, I haven't gone on, like, a vacation. Did I go to... Galaxy Con. No, I did not. I did not. I, I, I know there's one in Richmond, but I, I did not go to that one because I, I don't know. I haven't. I didn't go to that one. Uh, I have three. I really want to go to. Uh, Animore, uh, Amazing Con, and Great Philadelphia Comic Con next year. Uh, I really wanted to go to Great Philadelphia Comic Con this year. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it on the last show or not, but. Um, I almost met, uh, Noel McNeil. For those who don't know who he is, he's a Muppet performer. Y'all know me, I love my Muppets. Yes. Anyway, um, 
I almost met him at the Great Philadelphia Comic Con because he was there with uh, Jim Martin, one of the uh, performers from the Great Space Coaster uh, early 1980s TV series. And uh, I think Jim and Noel were there to uh, preserve the show, I believe it was, which is really cool. You know? I mean, the show hasn't been rerun in decades, so, I mean, it doesn't hurt. And plus, people get to meet performer Bear. That's that's the true reason why I w really wanted to go to Philadelphia last year, because um, I am a huge fan of Bear in the Big Blue House. For those who don't know, it's a late '90s, early 2000s TV series that I absolutely loved as a kid. Um, I think I started. How did I start? I believe I started with uh, the CDs. Actually, I think they're over here somewhere. Hold on one second, and I will get those real fast. Let's go through here. Here's one. Ah, I didn't even need to look that far. Now to find the other one. Hold on, this will be a little bit not that much of a pain. Great. Just gotta make sure you stay there. Thank you. There we go. Okay, we're good. Um, this is one of the earliest CDs I had. It's uh, Playhouse Disney 2. Uh, came out, uh, as you can see there, came out in early 2003. And they have songs from Baron the Big Blue House from like the fourth season, I think it was. Which is great. Uh, third and fourth season. Then there's another one here. This one that we've had forever. Uh, Playhouse Disney, The Imagine and the Room of Music. This came out in 2005. Also has some Baron the Big Blue House songs. I do need to get the first one though. First CD. But, um, I believe I showed this last time. But I actually have a DVD of Baron the Big Blue House. Uh, people nowadays don't have CDs anymore, they've got to... Exactly! Exactly! Uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, DVD... I have a DVD of Bear in the Big Blue House. A friend of mine sent me, I think, about a month and a half ago. It's, uh, Potty Time with Bear. Yeah, I know. Really? Yeah. I mean, this does have probably the most popular episode of the show, uh, When You've Got to Go. It's like the end of Season 2, I think it was. The end... Probably the beginning of 1999. But, um, but I, I love Bear in the Big, I, I absolutely love Bear in the Big Blue House. You can kind of say it's, um, I guess kind of a puppet version of Mr. Rogers. Nice segue there. Mm. Did anybody, did anybody see the trailer for It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood? It was out last week. And, um, uh, the movie, the movie itself is coming out in November, the trailer was released last week, I think it was, like, number one trending on YouTube or something like that. The trailer, let me tell you something, folks, the trailer, you have not seen the trailer, you need to see the trailer for It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Because it is, it looks incredible. Uh, the movie stars Tom Hanks, who of course did Forrest Gump, starring Apollo 13, which is a fantastic movie. And... He's just, it's like, it's a dream. A dream come true, because if there's anybody that we wanted to portray Mr. Rogers, it would be Tom Hanks. No other person would be able to do it as good as Tom Hanks. The trailer is incredible. I love it. Uh, the movie is coming out, I believe, on November 22nd. Uh, and let me tell you something, folks. I am going to see that movie most likely before Christmas. That is like one of my big movies I really want to see before Christmas. Yeah, there uh you're probably thinking of the documentary that came out uh last year. Uh Won't You Be My Neighbor. That came out last year. Uh I think it aired on PBS in December of last year. But it was yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it is going to be an excellent movie. Now of course it's not it's definitely not going to get as much money as, say, The Lion King, which I still can't believe has gotten all this money. I mean, I don't know, it. What Star Wars movies have I seen since... since when? Um... I don't think I've seen any of the Star Wars movies in their entirety, but I have the first five movies on VHS. Let me, let me show you over here. Uh, if I can kind of organize this a little bit. But, uh, I know, I, I still need to see a documentary too. I, you're not alone there. I still need to see it. 
Now let me flip my camera here. Hold on. Hey there, are the not that the first two episodes, uh, first two episodes of the Star Wars movies, and then uh, the trilogy in the box set. There it is, Star Wars trilogy episodes four, five, not the first five episodes. I'm sorry, four, five, six, one, one and two. This box set here came out in 1995. And, uh, my neighbor actually had this. I think he still does, actually. Now I have one for my very own. I've, trust me, I've, trust me when I say this, I've wanted this box set for quite some time. I got it, uh, when my, uh, dad's cousin was moving out from, uh, Maryland to Oregon. Uh, I think it was almost a year ago. And, uh, yeah, that's how I got that. But, um, I have not seen any of the Star Wars movies in their entirety. I've seen clips, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch the movies in their entirety yet. Yet. I will. I will, though. But, um, I wonder what old things I still have that no one uses anymore. I'll tell you one. How about a VHS-DVD combo? That's one. That's one right there. I think we have, like, two of them. Um, I used to have a TV VCR combo, but unfortunately I don't have that anymore, but, um, it worked great for old VHS tapes, like the one you saw earlier, the one from, my uh, home movies from 1988. Um, I do, I really need to get myself a TV VCR combo. I'm sure they have some on eBay. Not eBay, I'm sorry, they do have some on eBay, but Amazon, mostly Amazon. But, um, yeah. It's just, yeah, basically. That's something that nobody uses anymore, which is a shame. Shame on you folks. Um, hmm. What else? What old things do I have? Um, do I have any old video game consoles? I used to have a PS1. Uh, I believe I still have a PS1 controller. I do, actually. Right here. This is an old PS1 controller. We used to have a PS1. I've had this mini PS2 for like eight years now, and it still works beautifully. Um, and of course, it has backwards compatibility, which is great. But of course, um, PS my PS3 over here I got from a friend of mine also has backwards compatibility, but only for the PS1, which is fine. Anyway, I do not have an NES or SNES. I don't really care for the classic editions, honestly. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Uh, let me let me think here. I actually have Sonic the Hedgehog for uh, the Sega Genesis. One, Sonic One, by the way. But I don't have a Sega Genesis console. I mean, I probably wouldn't anyway, because I don't really have that much room. Um, no, I wouldn't have any room at all. Uh, that's a Wii U down there. I'm honestly considering getting rid of that because I don't really play it anymore. I don't. But that's why the Nintendo Wii's over there. That, yeah, we dug out our old Nintendo Wii and it still works like a charm. Uh, the Wii U... Um, yeah, I know. I know I need to dust. I know I do. I, I probably will tomorrow. I, I probably will either tonight or tomorrow. I do. I know it needs to be dusted. Thank you, my Um... But yeah, uh, I don't really have that much old stuff, but, um, old stuff nobody uses anymore. Um, uh, if this was, like, ten years ago, then send me the consoles that I want. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, if this was ten years ago, I would have said Vinyl Records. But of course, we all know vinyl records have been back for a number of years now. So, yep, yeah, those are back to stay. Uh, it's a good thing, too, because I have, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of them. Would DVDs count as something nobody uses anymore? Because, um, because I don't know. They have Blu-rays now, but some people use uh, DVDs. Some people use Blu-rays, so I use DVDs. I don't know. What is my favorite video game console of all time? Ooh, that's difficult. That's a good question. I would have to say the Nintendo Wii. 
because I think I'm I've played that the longest. I probably had my Nintendo Wii for probably gosh. 11 or 12 years now. 12 years, I think. Almost 12 years now. And, um, you know, we've had so much fun with it. We even, uh, that's true. Most use, that's true. Most people do use streaming apps now. So I guess you can kind of say Blu ray is kind of dying too. Uh, because of the streaming apps and whatnot. What is everybody's opinion on, um, HBO's service? What is, because they're coming, HBO's coming up with a new service. I think it's, is it like HBO Now or something like that? The price for that is insane. It's, I think they're going, last time I checked, they were going for like $16.99 a month. I was like, nah. Nah. Disney Plus, I'm sorry, not Disney Plus. I'll get to that in a minute. HBO Now, I think it's uh, upcoming. It, it's either an upcoming or a current streaming app. Oh, you haven't heard about that? Well, good thing. Um, yeah, forget about talking about HBO. What everybody cares about, of course, is Disney Plus. That, if I had to use one streaming service, that would be it. Disney Plus. It's going to be coming out in November. It's only like $5.99 a month, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. I forget the price. It's coming out in November. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. That is, I'll, I'll be buying that, too. I'll be, I'll be buying that myself. Um, Disney Plus is a big definite for me. Um, uh, 2012 used to be just player tape deal or no deal. Now you use DVDs. Did you convert the VHSs to DVD, Dave? Did did you do that? Because you can definitely do that. You can transfer your VHS tapes on with DVD. Blank D right, blank DVDs. That that's what I meant. Blank DVDs. Yes. Wasn't specific on that? Yeah, thanks. Anyway. Uh, no. Shame on you. Six ninety nine. Okay, I knew I was kind of close. Six ninety nine for base. Thank you. Um, speaking of Disney, um, this week's been kind of a sad week, the last week. Because Disney lost an absolute legend. Rusty Taylor passed away last week. And, um, it was extremely sad, you know? I was... I was shocked when I heard about it. Um, I really was. I was really sad when I found out Lucy Taylor passed away last week. Uh, she was an absolute legend. For those who don't know, she performed the voice of Mickey Mouse. I'm sorry, Minnie Mouse. Wayne Allman did it for 32 years. Minnie Mouse. Lucy Taylor did Minnie Mouse between uh, since 1986. I believe she started out with uh, the album totally yeah that was so sad like I, I believe she started out with the um, the album totally mini which came out in 86 they had a I know they did a special for totally mini in 1988 but I think the album came first yeah that, that was really sad uh, for those who don't know she also did the voice of baby gonzo with the original Muppet babies that, that was really sad um, Rusty, rest in peace. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, it was, it was sad. Um, we knew she had to go, yep. There you go. Yep, she died at the age of 75 last Wednesday. I mean, no, I'm sorry, last Friday. Sorry, last Friday. Why am I thinking Wednesday? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking Wednesday. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. Uh. What else should we talk about? I don't know. Um. I don't know what else we're talking about. I guess we can go back to our conventions topic. Um, uh, so. Does anybody have any convention places that they want me to attend? To try and attend? I'm trying to find something close. No more than two, no more than a hundred miles from me. No more than a hundred miles. Um, but, uh, oh no, let me, let me get back. I was, I was talking about, uh, the Nintendo Wii earlier. Uh, we actually took our Nintendo Wii. We actually went a trip to it. We went, went, our family went to a trip 
Jodie Benson's a sweetheart. Yes, she is. She is. I heard Jodie Benson's a sweetheart. Um, I've heard that. Um, sure, everybody's seen the wedding video, uh, where Jodie actually sung Part of Your World at a wedding, which was really sweet. I, I'm sure many of you have seen that. Yeah. Gotta watch it interact with fans. I do. I do. I, I really do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up after the show. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look that up, and, uh, it's gonna be, uh, it should be fun. Uh, I, I figure she's really sweet. I, I figure as such. But anyway, uh, Nintendo Wii. I've had that for about 11, 12 years now. We actually, uh, she, oh, she was at, nice, 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 nice. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot, a lot of celebrities were out, um, at, uh, Galaxy Con. Go to Richmond with you. When is when is that again? Isn't that like February something? That's like that's like in February something. Um, I'm I may go to Philly though. I really want to go to Philly though because last year, uh, the Great Philadelphia Comic Con was during my spring break. So, but Richmond's Richmond's a possibility. Richmond's a possibility. Dang, I got like. Four now. Mm. This doesn't make my decision any easier. Um, but anyway, February twenty eighth or March. Oh my God! Really? Wait, that's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yikes! That that's my birth. That's my birthday week. Mm. Hmm. That's my birthday week. Yikes. Why are all these happening with my, uh... Why are all these dates happening right around something special with me? I don't, I don't know. That's a possibility. I don't know if I'll go the last day. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, never mind. There's a, I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. I, I need a drink. I really do. Um, I'll get that in just a moment here. Um... I, for, I completely forgot my birthday was on Friday. So there's also a leap day on a Saturday this year. That should be fun. Um, yeah, that is a possibility. Uh, that's a possibility now since that, since Richmond's I don't think too far from me. But oh well. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'll think about some of the conventions and I'll see which one I can attend. Of course, it would depend on, you know, my scheduling and whatnot, because of uh, classes coming up and whatnot. Uh, I go back on the 26th. That's in, like, three weeks. Yikes. Let's see, just came in. Chris Dragon Hunter, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining. Welcome aboard. Um, right now, we're currently talking about myself possibly going to some conventions either later this year and someone's at the time. I know that phone job. It was E. I know that phone job. Hey! I just said to E. Comic Con New Zealand. Ooh! Nice, nice, nice. Very well. Very well. Let's put that here. Hmm. Hmm.
Good sir, we'll edit all that out. No problem. Probably not, but whatever. I knew I needed something to drink. Um the struggle of living with your parents ain't that the truth. And besides, I need something to drink anyway. So I have a Coke Zero right here. No calories, no problems. Mm. Delicious. And the, nothing wrong with Coke Zero on a Friday. Can't go wrong. That's basically my alcohol, basically. Hey, I, I drink something. Anyway, we were, let's see. Can't remember the last name, but he voices. Izawa from My Hero Academia. Oh, I don't, I don't remember his name either. Saba, that might be it. That might be it. For the, for those just joining us, we've been talking about conventions, c upcoming conventions. I have a few in mind I might be attending. Probably only gonna attend one though, because I like my schedule. Maybe next summer I'm probably gonna attend more. Maybe. Maybe. Might find a part-time job, though, next year. Can I Because I need, I need a part-time job, honestly. Yeah, I make some money. It's important. Uh, now, now, I'm, now that I'm this age, you know, I start making money. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm. What else should we talk about? We've been talking about conventions for quite a while. Um, obviously nobody here went to San Diego Comic Con. Uh, what was that? Two, three weeks ago? But nobody went to that. None of us anyway. But, um... I don't know, it's, it's, it's Christopher something, I, I don't remember either, so, um, yeah, what was I gonna look for, oh yeah, I think I remember now, um, here, and it, oh, what, well, what, what's the name, what's the name, hmm, I'll be with that. I'm gonna show off one of the older tapes I have here. I think I showed this off the last show when I was showing off my Muppet collection. This is uh, Jim Henson's Muppet Babies Storybook Volume Three. Muppet Babies, yes. Oh no, never mind. My Hero Academia. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, yes, Muppets, yes. I showed off my entire Muppet collection on the last show. Well, almost my entire Muppet collection. Um, but yeah. Um, this is a uh, Muppet Babies video story storybook. Um, it was released in 1987. I know, I, I gotta continue Muppet Babies too. Um, I'm... I'm Almost done with the first season. I think I still have like five more episodes to go. In the in the current revival, by the way, current revival. Speaking of um, speaking of that, um, I think it was last sometime last week, Muppet Babies: The Current Revival got revived for a third season already, and the show hasn't even started airing its second season yet. I don't think. I know. I know it's going to start soon I just don't know when they're gonna start their second season if they didn't start it already but Muppet Babies has been revived the current revival has been revived for a third season already I know and, it and the second season hasn't even started yet um these storybooks are narrated by Kermit uh Kermit the Frog of course at that time performed by Jim Henson until his death in 1990 uh, this one is volume three. I actually got this as a birthday present like two years ago. Um, I actually have one other uh, birthday present here. I also showed off on the last show. Um, let me pull it out here. Here it is. 
Here it is, right here. This is, uh, as you can see in the title here, Miss Piggy's Guide to Life. Uh, it was originally released in 1981. This is a reprint from 83. I know it's not in the best condition, but that's the way it came, so deal with it. Uh, this is, this is, I read this in its entirety. It is excellent. It is excellent. I, I love this. It's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah. Let me do it. Anyway. You better know it. Miss Piggy's the best piggy. And I almost maybe spit out my drink. Thanks a lot, Airfly. Thanks a lot. But she not wrong. Miss Piggy's the best piggy. She is. Eat your heart out, babe. Not not like your actual spouse, but babe the pig, you know. Nineteen ninety five movie, whatnot. Um we were talking about Disney Plus earlier, I think. I remember correctly. I had no I think the Muppets actually have two series for Disney Plus. I know they have one about the Muppet movie from like nineteen seventy nine. Uh coming up, but I don't remember if they have another one. I think they do. I'm not hundred percent sure I forget, but I think they do have a uh second series with uh Disney Plus coming out in November. Looking forward to it. Um, I also showed off. My, I know. I know. I'm. I know much. I know they have one talking about the behind the scenes of the first Muppet movie, but I don't know if they have a second one. Uh, we'll have to look that up after after the show's done. Uh, whenever that may be. If and w do you know if and when we're getting a mu new Muppet movie? I wanted to know that too. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't heard anything about a new Muppets movie. I... What is he saying cancel for? I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Mm. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Maybe it's not so bad living with my parents, because, you know... Crazy stuff. That was for uh, last I heard. Got pushed back and haven't done anything since. That was for a Sesame Street movie, I think. Yeah, that was for a Sesame Street movie. I think it was supposed to be released. I don't know if it was. I don't think it was supposed to be released this year. Probably next year, I think. I'm not hundred percent sure. I know they're coming out with a new Sesame Street movie, but I know that got pushed back. But that uh, that's the new both. What do you mean both? The only one I've heard of was the Sesame Street one that I've heard of. Oh, you must be thinking of Fraggle Rock movie. That's that's been development for years. Hello, man. Hello. Is that a carousel, Michael? I think so. Looks like it. Did you make a carousel, Michael? Good job. That's mom. Um, I know, I know there was a Sesame Street movie, but I don't know what the other one was. But there's been, like, a Fraggle Rock movie in development for, like, almost 15 years now. And, uh, we still have no idea when and if that's going to be released. No, no, it's been developments since, like, I want to say 2005, I think. But they still haven't released it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, hmm. Speaking of Fraggle Rock, I know I showed this on the last show too. 2011 movie uh, was supposed to have a sequel. It did. It did have a sequel. Uh, that was Muppets Most Wanted. That was the sequel to uh, the 2011 movie. They did come out with that. That came out like five years ago though. So, maybe there was supposed to be a trilogy? I don't know. They came out with Muppets Most Wanted, which was basically the sequel of the 2011 movie. That came out five years ago, but... I don't know what kind of world you're living in, but they came out with the sequel. Oh, there was, there was supposed to be a third movie. I had no idea. I had no idea there was supposed to be a third movie. I mean, I like both the uh, 2011 and the, and the sequel one. I, I like them both. 
But I had no idea they were coming out with a third movie. I had no idea. Nobody told me they were coming out with a third movie. When was this announced? Do you know when when was this announced? I I have no idea. I guess I, of course everybody's still waiting for the Muppet Show season four and five to come out. We've been waiting for that for like eleven years now. But anyway, that's beside the point. Soon after Most Wanted, so probably. 2015-16, but of course they had the Muppets TV series, I guess, and that probably pushed it back even further, and then they had the shows they did at the Hollywood Bowl in London, but I guess, I guess those are the reasons why they got pushed back. Done. Done. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, that's a sad point. So, so I, I guess maybe... 2015-16 was when they announced it, I guess. I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to think. Because it said soon after Most Wanted. That was released in 2014. Disney had plans for the Muppets that nixed the movies. Well, of course. Of course. I think it was probably because of the box office. It, the, the second one didn't do it. AKA baby, yeah, right, right. AKA babies. There you go. I think I think I did some research, and uh, Muppet Babies is Disney Channel's number one show between for kids between the ages of two and eight, which is great. That wasn't supposed to be a ride, but we'll go with it. Mm. Take it. But um, anyway. I guess they're focusing more on the Muppet Babies for now, I guess. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's weird. It, it's really weird. I, I don't know. I had no idea, but really, I had no idea they were supposed to come out with a third movie. Do you think we could probably see that probably next few years? Maybe? Don't know. Don't tell me it's gonna take another. Uh, don't tell me it's gonna take another ten years. Like the span between Muppets, Muppets from Space and 2011 movie did. For those who don't know, Muppets from Space came out in July 1999. And the other one came out in 2011. So yeah, fun. Yeah, that's interesting though. They actually had plans for coming out. You just want more Muppets show. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know what the plans are for Muppet Show's Seasons 4 and 5, but I have the first three seasons on DVD. Let me actually pull those out real quickly here. Hold on. Um, either either A, a revival, or B, the release of Seasons 4 and 5. That'd be nice. Yep, I have all three Uh, Not all three seasons, because it's five. Seasons 1... Two and three, all, th oh, the first, the three seasons have been released on DVD. I know they have the uh, best of the Muppet Show from Time Life video. I came out in like two thousand one. Those are going for ridiculous prices though, on like Amazon, eBay. They're going for ridiculous prices. But um, either a revival or the release of season four and five would be nice. Um, of course, they'd probably air the Muppet Show on ABC. Because for obvious reasons, uh, you know, because you know the Muppets are owned by Disney, so does ABC. Great, excellent. But uh, yeah, I really should showcase some episodes for you folks sometime. Not here, but not on this show, but you know, outside of the show. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Now I know some of you are wondering which season do I like the best. That's a good question. Probably, it's probably a tie between seasons two and three for me. You know, they have very good episodes. Actually, a little bit of season four, too. Um, season two had Elton John, Steve Martin, Zero Mostel, who, di who uh, died after, the sh after his episode aired. So rest in peace. Um, and uh, whatnot. But yeah, fine. 
so I'm gonna open this up and see the inside here. They you can actually you can actually feel this. It's actually really cool. You can actually this is sad. It's, it's not soft, but like you get what I'm saying. Um, how do I? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Let me wait you folks to view the back of season two. Seasons four and five need to have the music clears. That's what. That's why it's. T uh, yeah, yeah. That's why it's taken so long. I I figured that's why it took so long, because of the cl music clearance. I I knew that, but. What? You used to do that though, really? Yeah. So yeah. So folks, go to go complain to Disney. Although although people have for years though. But um yeah, people have been complaining to them for years. Uh so yeah. Uh I I knew it was the music clearance. But if I didn't take eleven years, that's surprising. Um, uh, cause cause the Muppet Show season three came out in two thousand eight, I think it was, and um. They had plans to come out with a season four DVD, I think. Was it announced at D23 2009 or 2011? I think it was D23 2009, I think. One of the two. I think it was 2009. At D23, they announced season four, but that never happened. That obviously never happened, unfortunately. And it still hasn't happened, so great. Wonderful. Um... Yeah, some something like that. Yeah, I knew I knew it was the music clearances that you know wouldn't that would prevent them from you know releasing it and whatnot. But hey, you know. Um. Let's see. Um. Uh, what else is there to talk about? I don't, I don't know. I fuck, I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let me go, let me actually go through some of these here. Um, some of the episodes they have. Show you the insect. The season one one I got is actually the 2016 special edition. You can see it's in like this special case here. Compare it to the other ones, it's like in these. Yeah, so yeah, fun. Uh, let's see. I don't know, but yeah, if you folks want uh, Muppet Show seasons four and five to come out on DVD, don't complain to us. Don't complain to Muppets. Complain to Disney. Um, but yeah, same goes for uh, a revival of Bear in the Big Blue House. Um, I know Noel McNeil said in an interview that he wants to do one. But don't complain to him. Don't complain to him. Complain to Disney. The whole Disney, the whole Disney deal was just weird. The whole Muppets deal in two thousand four was weird, cause they had uh, Bear in the Big Blue House in that. But by two thousand, but in two thousand seven, both the spinoff they had and the show were gone. Never aired again. Never. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Nothing like Coke Zero on a Friday. This is basically my alcohol. I know it doesn't contain any alcohol, but like, yeah, you know. Gotta, gotta get your boost up somehow. Mm. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you people would like to talk about? Because I'm honestly out of ideas. Honestly. I'm out of ideas. Um, while, while you're in that set up here, while you folks are trying to figure out something to talk about, I would like to remind you folks that there will be no show next week. Um, I'll be out of town next week, so we'll be back, I'll be back in two weeks. Okay, two weeks will be our, uh, next show. Um, is there anything else that you people would like to talk about? What not? Anything? Anything at all? Anything? Don't be shy. Don't jump at once. But, um... I'll just wait a few moments here. Um... 
Did I ever show you folks my keyboard? I don't think I've shown off my keyboard on this show. No, I think I did last week, last time, but I almost said last week again. This is a PSR 77 keyboard from 90, 1995. My grandparents actually gave this to me here. My grandparents gave this to me. Well, they originally gave it to my brother, but they wanted him to try it out. But he wouldn't budge. So. Is it xylophone? Vibraphone. I was close. Um, five is like an electric organ, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah. My brother, my brother would not budge with it. He wouldn't even touch it. So, so he just decided to give it to me. And uh, I've, I've had it ever since. I've had it for almost a year now. I think either almost a year or a year and a half. And now I got in October one year. Some. Was it October? No. I, either way, I think I've had it for almost a year, I think. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's how I got my keyboard there. The thing is, I mostly play by ear. I'm not a guy that usually reads sheet music, like, you know, sheet music, you know, all the notes and whatnot. I mostly play by ear, and I feel like it works better, because, you know, you get to explore a lot more, you know? Sure, memorizing this stuff is a little difficult, since it's not, like, there in front of you, but I feel like that just works for me. Um, yeah. With... Yeah, I I can sort of read music. I can sort of read music. Like there was one song that I learned, not on the piano, but like that we sang in like fifth grade. What is it? Um, if you, if you want to. It was like E G B D F. E G B D F. Uh, it was a song in like fifth grade that we learned. Uh, was it fifth? It was. It was when I was in elementary school. It was like uh, E G B D F, like talking about the uh, notes on double clef. I'll post it in our chat a little later. But um, it's I I just found it again a couple weeks ago, and uh, like. It just brought back nostalgia for me, so. Whatever works. Um, I think I think that's where we're going to call it. Because we've gone over an hour. I guess. Uh, I don't want the show to be too long. Two hours tops. We can go any length. 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half. I feel like we've gone long enough. Um, I'll figure out somebody to host. I think PK Sparks is streaming right now. Is... I don't, I don't know if Big John, I don't know if Big John's streaming or not. I don't know. I think he is. Either way, I'll find somebody to host, don't worry. So folks, uh, this concludes the third episode. Bye, Flynn. Bye. I'll, I'll probably talk to you later. Uh, that's gonna do it for our, oh, Big John is on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, for those watching us live on the Twitch chat right now, we are going to be hosting Big John when I get that set up. So, um, we'll be heading over to Big John. For those watching this later, uh, you can just go somewhere else, basically. <laughs> you, you, you can just go somewhere else if you're going to watch this later. Uh, but that's going to do it for the Friday Happy Hour show. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to everybody in chat here, Airfly, David the Gamer, um, what's that one dude's name again, Chris something, Chris, 
what's what's your name? Chris Dragon Hunter. And then that one guy. Never come back on the show again. Uh, that one guy that was on the first part of the show. Anyway. That's going to do it. Like I said, there will be no show next week because we'll be out of town next week. Maybe, maybe next week. Uh, no. No. We won't be doing a show next week. Not next week. We'll be back in two weeks with a new show. So, uh, thank you folks for joining us. Good night and drink responsibly. have any questions, comments, or concerns about the show, email us at the Friday Happy Hour Show at gmail.com. The Friday Happy Hour Show was created by Matt Bingle. Logo created by Matt Bingle. Alternate logo created by Alex Harris. The Friday Happy Hour Show is produced by Bingle Productions Incorporated for the private use of our audience. Any unauthorized duplication, copying, editing, exhibition, and or broadcast of this program or any part thereof without the consent or permission of Finkel Productions Incorporated is strictly prohibited. The Friday Happy Hour Show, copyright 2019 by Finkel Productions Incorporated. All rights reserved.